Hey, honey, do you know where my makeup palette is? I always put it at the top of my makeup drawer. Oh, sorry, I think Pam has it. She said you'd let her borrow it. I gave it to her yesterday night. What? I never said that. Oh, uh, that's weird. I mean, with anything else she wants to borrow, I'd be fine, but that's a really expensive palette. I'm sure she'll be careful with it. I didn't think it'd be a big deal if she used it. I guess I should have asked you first. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I just don't know why she didn't ask me first. And why she lied to you. I don't know either. I'll talk to her about it tonight. Is everything going all right with you two? I'm sensing some tension. I want to say yes, but I genuinely don't know. I feel like Pam doesn't like me. She's never acted like she doesn't, though. Has she said anything to make you feel that way? It's just a vibe I'm getting from her. I think she's going through something. I'm sure everything is alright with her. She hasn't told me about anything going on. Honey, you believe me, right? Of course. I'm not trying to cause problems, I swear. I love you. And I love Pam, too. I just think she's not used to having a mother figure that isn't her own. Well, Tracy wasn't very excited about us moving in together. That could have had something to do with it. When did she tell you that? A few weeks ago. We got to talking when I was dropping Pam off at her place. And she told you she didn't want us to live together? You didn't tell me about that. She just thinks it's a little soon, is all. I told her we're happy and it's none of her business. Well, good, because it's not. I don't want her interfering with our life. Well, unfortunately, she is a part of our life. She's a part of mine, so she's a part of yours. I suppose that's true. It sucks either way. Who knows, maybe she's filling Pam's head with lies about you. Or about us. Well, you have to talk to Pam about it. I don't want her to think I'm the bad guy here. She doesn't. She's just a kid. I'll just have to have a talk with her. Well, let me know how it goes. I want everything to be okay with us. Hey, I'm happy with you. And I'm beyond excited to be married to you. I'm happy with you too. I can't wait. No matter what, we'll figure this out. I'm determined. I believe you. You can do it. Love you. So, are you jealous of me and my dad or something? What are you talking about? Did he talk to you? He did. I don't know why you're upset I used your stupid palette. It's not even that expensive. Pam, I don't want to fight. I value that one a lot. It was a present. And I just didn't want it to get lost in your room. Why would I lose it? Look, I don't want things to be difficult. We can argue or we can just talk. It's up to you. I just don't understand why you feel the need to tell on me. Seems pretty childish for an adult. I don't want to go looking through your room. That would probably upset you more, right? You are correct. I just want you out of my business. Hun, you you're the one who took the palette without me knowing. I kind of have to be in your business if you take things that aren't yours. You want to be my mother so bad, so what's yours is mine, right? I'm not trying to take your mother's place. But you are. You're getting married to my dad. That's literally taking her place. Your dad is an adult man. He loves me and he wants to marry me. That's his decision. Why don't you take that up with him? I have. Many times, believe me. What did I ever do to make you hate me so much? I've only ever tried to be kind to you. I'm just trying to understand you. Well, good luck. My own dad doesn't even get me. If he did, he wouldn't have proposed to you. What is it about me that you don't like, aside from anything to do with your mom? This is an inappropriate conversation to have with a child. What? You're not a child. You're 16. I don't want to talk about it with you. Period. Fine. I expect my palette to be on the kitchen table when I get home. Absolutely. So, we need to talk. What's up, my love? Every square in my palette has been smashed to bits. Oh, shoot. Can't you still use it? No, when a palette gets broken, there's no fixing it. It's ruined. It must have been an accident. There's no way this was an accident, Jason. You have to work to smash every square like this. Pam did it on purpose. Okay, let's evaluate the situation before we jump to conclusions. This isn't me jumping to conclusions. Pam freaked out on me over text earlier. She was mad at me, so she smashed my palette. Did you confront her about it? No, she's gone. Where is she? I don't know. She doesn't want me keeping tabs on her. 
all figure it out and figure out why she did this. She needs to be punished, Jason. Not liking me is one thing, but destroying my belongings is another. Okay, calm down. Let's not rain fire on her just yet. Clearly, she needs someone to talk to. She needs someone to take control of her. She is losing it over this whole thing. And I doubt Tracy is helping soothe the situation. Look, I love you, but don't be crazy about my kid. Her and I are really close, and I think she's just jealous. I'm not trying to tell you how to raise your kid. I just don't want to be put in this situation. I feel really uncomfortable living in a house with a kid who hates me. Don't exaggerate. She doesn't hate you. But she does. You don't understand. Just don't diminish my feelings out of defense for Pam. Let's not argue about it. I think we have differing opinions. Will you just figure it out? That's all I'm asking you to do. Yes, of course. I'll have a talk with her. Thank you. What exactly is your problem with my daughter? I have no issue with Pam. I have an issue with how she's behaving lately. And how would that be? She broke something that was mine on purpose. She doesn't like me. Can we just be honest adults about this and try to solve the problem? I feel like I'm going in circles with people. I think you just need to let Pam feel how she wants. She's not used to another woman. Clearly. Does Jason know you're texting me? Why would I need to tell him? We're adults, right? Yeah, I guess. Look, I'm not a fan of yours. I think Jason is rushing way too fast into this. He barely knows you. Who are you to make that judgment? I know Jason, and I know he's making a mistake. Why? Because he's not with you? Oh, please. All that matters to me is that my daughter is happy. I don't think that's the truth. I think you're jealous. As I said, I don't care who he dates. But clearly you do. You're reaching out to me. On behalf of my daughter, treat her right. She doesn't like you. I know she doesn't. I'm trying to reassure her about everything. It's not going to work. Yippee! Uh, look, this is beyond me. You and Jason need to figure it out now. I'm done. Jason, we need to talk. What's wrong? I found something weird in Pam's room. Why were you in her room? Because I couldn't find my brush. I figured you probably let her borrow it again. Okay, so what? I found a drawing of her stabbing me. Are you joking? Why would I joke about that, Jason? It just seems weird. That sounds like something out of a movie. Well, it's real. Maybe she got the idea from a movie, but it still happened. Look, she's 16, she's hormonal, she's just being a kid. That is not normal 16-year-old behavior, Jason. And Tracy texted me earlier. She did? Yes. And what did she say? Oh, basically nothing except for her warning me to back off her daughter. That's really strange. You and her seem to still be close. She's my kid's mom, Jenny. We have to retain some form of relationship for the rest of our lives. Yeah, but she and her daughter are incredibly jealous of me. It's overwhelming, honestly. I love you, Jenny. I don't care about Tracy anymore. Clearly, she cares a whole lot about you and what you choose to do in your life. She doesn't have to be a part of this. She does because she's pushing her agenda on your child. Huh? Tracy is the one behind Pam acting out. I know it. What makes you think that? Because they basically talk to me the same way. Just have my side in this, wouldn't you? I didn't ask for any of this. I know. I'll reach out to Tracy and have her back off. I'm sorry you're caught in the middle of all this. It's all right. I just want it fixed so we can get married without all this stress. I really do want Pam to have a good home life with us. Me too. It'll be fixed, I promise. Pam, you have a lot of explaining to do. What are you talking about? Why are you so obsessed with me? It's actually pathetic. I know you slashed my tires. Huh? You're insane. You need therapy. Nobody else would feel the need to attack my car like this. Mine were slashed, but your dad's weren't. If it was some random person, they would have done both cars. Are you so sure nobody else hates you? 
Why are you being so awful? You are going to be in so much trouble. No, I won't. I didn't do it. I know it was you. It couldn't have been anyone else. You already destroyed something of mine anyway. I didn't do that either. It must have fallen. You need to be held accountable. My dad loves me more than he'll ever love you. I'm his kid. Competing with me for his attention is so pathetic. It's not a competition. You're the one making it into a battle. I did nothing to you to deserve this. You're so insufferable. You will never replace my mother. What can I do to make you understand? I'm not trying to replace your mom. I'm just trying to be me. Well, you suck. I don't want you to be in my house. What can we do to make you more comfortable? This is something we'll both have to deal with. We can't just go on hating each other. No, I guess we can't. So we can work things out. I'd really like to do so. Oh, work something out. No worries. Pam, I promise I will be a good wife to your dad. And a great stepmom to you. I swear on my life. I believe you. I bet you would be. Okay, so we're cool? Oh, yeah. Cool as can be. Okay, well, that was easy, I guess. Yeah, it was. We still need to figure out my tires. I'm sure my dad will figure it out. He has a job, not me. I didn't tell him yet. Why? Because I wanted to show you I care. I want to solve these problems on our own. I know you're going through a lot. You don't know what I'm going through. Or what I'm capable of. Wait, I thought we were cool. We are. It doesn't change the fact that you don't know me. Well, I'd like to get to know you. You will. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to reach out to your dad. Alrighty. Hey, I'm pretty sure Pam slashed my tires. Wait, what? Why would you say that? My tires are slashed. So you automatically assume Pam did it? This isn't some random assumption, Jason. She already destroyed my pallet. And your car is fine. Mine isn't. Who else would it be? I don't know, some random thug. We live in a suburban neighborhood. Slashing tires isn't a joyride thing. Random people don't slash your tires. I can't believe this. Look, her and I already worked things out. We're cool now. But we need to come up with the money to replace my tires. You two are cool? What did you say? We just worked things out. I confronted her about it and she's gonna be better. Okay. I'm so confused as to what's going on in my house. No need for confusion, honey. It's all worked out. Okay. Well, I'm glad you two came to an agreement. Me too. Love you. Okay, I'm really freaked out now. What now? Did you see a figure in our room last night? A figure? N no, it must have been sleep paralysis. No, not that. What are you talking about? My key to our room is missing. Okay, what are you suggesting, Jenny? I think Pam snuck into our room last night. You got to be kidding me. I'm serious, Jason, please believe me. You probably just lost the key. No, I didn't. I never take it off my keychain and I put my keychain on my purse. I left my purse in the living room last night when Pam was in there. This is bordering delusion, Jenny. You're putting me in a very tricky spot here. All you have to do is figure out what's wrong with Pam. I wouldn't lie about this. I know, but it, it doesn't make it any easier. Pam is my daughter. You're the love of my life. I don't like feeling like I have to choose. Well, then I don't know what to tell you, Jason. I can just move out. Forget it. Please don't say that. You don't understand the fear I'm living in because of Pam. I don't want to deal with this anymore, and neither do you. There's only one solution. I don't want to lose you. Please understand. I understand enough. I'm moving out until Pam is under control. And I'm postponing the wedding. Jenny! If you don't want to help me out here, I have no choice. Either Pam moves in with her mom, or I move out. Pam wants to live with me. I'm not going to strip that away from her. Okay, well, I'll be leaving. I understand why you're choosing your daughter, but I have to take care of myself. I understand.
Hey, I have something to tell you. Okay. So I talked to Tracy, and I realized some things. Like what? I realized that she's literally insane. I told her about all the stuff that went down with you and Pam. She said she knew. Knew what? That Pam was going to do that stuff. She encouraged her to do it. Are you serious? Why would she admit that to you? I I don't know. She was in a fit of rage the last exchange we had. I told her it was her fault you moved out, and she totally flipped. What are you going to do? I called the police. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but she's threatening me. She's way crazier than I thought. I knew it. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Yeah, well, you should have. So what's happening with Pam? I'm sending her to a psychiatric hospital. My baby girl is sick. She needs help. It doesn't have anything to do with us. She's just suffering mentally. That's very good of you to take care of your daughter like that. I just need her to be okay. Will you please move back in? What happens when Pam is out of the hospital? What if she still hates me? I didn't sign up for all this. I know, you don't deserve it. You're right. But you love me, right? While Pam is away, we can work out our issues and start again. There's nothing more that I want than to get married to you. I want that too. So let's do it. Let's get married. It's not too late. The venue held our reservation. Why? I told them to cancel it. Because I called them immediately after and told them to keep it. I was determined to get you back. I see. Well, I love you, and I think we should still get married. I love you no matter your past or your family. I love you too. Jason and I were happily married soon after Pam went to the psychiatric hospital. It was difficult for Jason, but he knew Pam would be a difficult guest. Now she's out of treatment, and without the influence of her rotten mother, she's acting like a seemingly normal teenager. At least, as normal as a teenager can possibly be. 